this is uh, uh, the combination of uh, two icons of design. So we have a Stefano Reghini exterior uh, combined with an Achille Salvagni interior and of course built by Adim, the Adimo Benetti Group, the largest yacht and mega yacht manufacturer in the world. The door completely open now creating a one environment if you wish between the cockpit almost flush so very important to see from the stern to the helm station and the stairs to the lower deck there is no steps. We obtained those two there is oversized grate which allow us to pass the certification for water drainage in case of a back seas coming in but allow us also to put this very very thin and uh, uh, short uh, step if you wish so basically from the stern to the bow you have no steps and here you come into this uh, incredibly uh, soft plush luxurious but not uh, extreme uh, environment and this is the this is the key of Achille Salvani design uh, he combines extremely noble material like this 100% gloss mahogany and this uh, natural silk uh, which is the upholstery used for this beautiful uh, niche with this uh, bronze uh, painted trim but he combined it with live almost live raw oak uh, so you have 100% mahogany uh, combined with uh, uh, completely matte finished oak silk and gold and all together if you do a panoramic view you see how everything actually blends together and gives you really the combination of uh, luxury but also comfort relax and uh, uh, the beauty of spending time in an environment that, that you appreciate but you can also enjoy. And this is also thanks to the amazing work of Stefano Reghini now on the exterior with these incredible windows. So if you see the amount of natural light, we are now in a marina where we are surrounded by beautiful yachts but obviously the final destination of this uh, would be probably in a beautiful nat natural spot, the Bahamas or the coast of the, the bays of Sardinia or any, anywhere else in the world where your landscape is uh, actually the art that you'll be looking at. So imagine you are now in the Bahamas at the anchor in a beautiful bay by yourself with nobody around you. And from this 360 degrees view, you see uh, you know, the best thing you can see in the world, which is what uh, nature can offer. This is a, a layout uh, which uh, is particularly versatile because it offers a very conversational lounging environment in the salon, if you wish, but also combined with what we all appreciate as a formal dining for eight uh, up to nine actually people. You can sit someone here if that it will be, but there is a room for all the eight guests of the boat in a sort of a formal dining environment. Behind that bulkhead we'll see is the galley and of course that window right there now is in the closed position which has a mirror to uh, you know give the feeling of a larger space and goes actually down and can put in communication the galley to the salon dining in case again we are more into an owner operated where uh, they like to enjoy and have communication between the galley and the salon dining they can do that through opening that big uh, you know communication uh, window there or instead in a crew more crew or if you are cooking something which have some smell uh, uh, then you can keep it closed open the door and we'll see how the boat really fit uh, very well for both people which want separation between crew and guests or integration between crew and guests there are some key very clever feature this is a beautiful piece where you are and of course is, is all storage uh, for uh, silver for um, tableware and uh, you know any other need while the china i'll show you later where it is because there is a dedicated storage for the china very very important feature they had uh, this came out uh, particularly nice look how uh, cute it is this is a sink and uh, of course uh, is a full day head with the storage uh, sink and toilet so if you have a party on board you have friends coming over for the day or for drinks nobody needs to go downstairs and use anybody else's toilet this is a, the day head which can be used by guests on board now we walk uh, I mentioned the china so I want to show you that here you have a full complete cabinet dedicated specifically to all the china uh, needed and silverware needed for the boat uh, for all the guests on board so, um, so this is again, it's all stored properly. All the china has neoprene um, base and layers to avoid noise 
and or damages to the china so these all store safely here now we talk about separation so in case you would like to have communication between crew and guests uh, as i said that you press this button these windows go down and now you have uh, basically an open galley layout where you see your full uh, communication between the galley and the guest if you instead want to be in a more separate kind of configuration you bring it back up and uh, if you uh, go back we'll, you'll be able to close this door which is a pocket door so it disappears so now that window is closed this door is closed and check this and now this glass frost by the press of a button I don't know if you can see it in the video and now by closing this door closing that window and frosting this glass now the crew has a completely separated area they can go out to do technical maneuver or access the crew quarter from that side door that we'll see in the galley. And uh, the guest and, and the owner can enjoy all the space from the cabin to the cockpit to the salon without any interference with the crew moving around. So that is very versatile design. And again, this is a pretty simple but uh, very cool feature which uh, produced that sort of isolation. And as you can see, uh, this is the Elm Station and they have uh, uh, their own dedicated uh, dinette where they can uh, dine and relax or do watches when uh, when they navigate and this is a beautiful ham station where you have you know of course double seat pilot and co-pilot full electronics package and uh, you know all you need to navigate and uh, monitoring system digital switching and all the features that uh, our packages include galley of course we take a look at it you have a full size residential refrigerator with water dispenser and uh, you know cooktop oven of course a storage every single cabinet you see is a storage and again that is a, a, a gate a, the door a watertight door which access the exterior so the crew can go out uh, from that door without passing through the salon ever so we now go down little some details which i think are cool and make you appreciate of course this is the main lobby we will go into the master, but check this out. This is the audio video rack. Look at the quality of execution as well as the cleverness of installation, where by basically unscrewing these bolts, which are designed to hold the rack in place, there is wheels and the racks comes completely out for maintenance, reprogramming, replacement of components, upgrade and addition. So it's, a, it's a really a, a fully residential audio video rack installed on the yacht, completely secured. And uh, uh, you know, that gives you also an idea of the way it's manufactured, designed and put together. Behind that, while you have it in the video, is the central vacuum system. So when you see those uh, interesting uh, out, uh, um, kind of uh, devices like this, this is your central vacuum system. So the only thing you do, you put you plug the, the hose in there and uh, you can vacuum uh, the area. They're, they're all located in, uh, in position where the length of the hose uh, is sufficient from the, uh, to, for the area it covers. Here you have a night refrigerator, which is very appreciated while we are here. So drinks for the lower deck, they're all stored here. God forbid you need to do three steps and go to the refrigerator upstairs for a glass of water. And here you have one of the laundry machines. So this is a combo unit. Uh, typically, uh, you know, the ladies like to have their own uh, private unit here. So we have a stock unit in the crew quarters. The washer and dryer are separated, of course, for the entire boat. But this is also an extra unit, which is combo washer and dryer in one for the lower deck and specifically uh, the owner. Let's go this way. Let's, get, let's come to the heart uh, of the boat. This is the master cabin, of course, a full beam located in the widest uh, part of the boat and uh, separated from uh, the noise production area of the boat, which is the engine room, by a walk-in closet on the starboard side and head on the port side and the crew quarters behind them. So this particular design is extremely quiet. So it's designed really for long-term navigation at night, uh, if the owner will, and uh, he will be able to spend the night sleeping and wake up uh, the, more the next morning in, uh, in, in another port or in another beach or in another area. Uh, pointing out some elements of design, again, Achille Salvagni design, uh, for us, a genius of design. And you can look, one of his 
design pillars is symmetry. You will notice that everything is uh, fairly and very symmetrical. And so symmetry creates this uh, order for your eye and, uh, and uh, this beauty. So you have uh, these uh, beautiful leather wrap boxes suspended from this uh, storage unit, which also becomes a piece of art. Another thing that I personally really love when I, when I started working on this project a few years ago, when we started the design uh, project, is that you see this, this is meant, if you look at it from far, or you can turn around doing it on the other side, this is basically a frame for a picture. You see how it's designed with this flow of round, uh, of round wood right here, is, is really designed to resemble a frame of a piece of art in a museum and, and that's actually what this is. You see the frame and then few elements of design which are spectacular and unique but also the piece of art is that frameless one-piece window. Again now you are in a beautiful bay in uh, Thailand or in the Bahamas uh, or in the Exumas or in the Caribbean and that's what you see from there framed by this concept. So this is where the genius come to place. Going into something a little bit more practical, under every bed, I'll open maybe a few of them, not all of them, but under every bed we provide immense amount of storage. Look at this. The only fixed thing under this bed right now is that, which is the subwoofer for the audio video system, which this boat has an audio video as we saw from the rack, uh, second to none, but everything else, all these boxes are obviously temporarily here before delivery and they are for components, but all of this is available for the owner to store sheets, uh, towels, uh, supplies, uh, suitcases, and you name it. I mean, look at the amount of volume on top of those two cabinets area, which of course, both opens, they have hanging bars, storage going all the way deep into that uh, volume right there, times two, the drawers, look how deep this drawer has. So you can put probably four to five shirts folded in each drawer per side. And um, um, so there is, uh, as I said, storage under the bed, storage there. Behind you is a walk-in closet. So we would probably see uh, her taking this walk-in closet and him be confined to uh, these uh, very generous though. Uh, storage compartments with two uh, closets and two drawers. This is another piece of art from Achille Salvagni. So this is the vanity with, uh, of course, the mirror. But look how, how genius this is. Look at this electric blue insert with the bronze paint uh, fitting and it's all hidden. Once this is down, nobody would ever expect. And you, we could have built it without a problem. This. With, with normal paint, normal, without going into the effort of creating one, two, three, four different materials. This is design. This is uh, opening this and be shocked and surprised by the beautiful lacquer electric blue detail with a, with a bronze painted uh, trim is where art come into place. Art is creativity. You, you don't think about something like this if you don't have a creative mind. Lamp, of course, designed by Achille Salvani. Going to something technical, check this out. These are actually very proud of this because these are the instabilizers from Humphrey. And uh, you see how compact it is, but also how easily accessible for any sort of maintenance. And they are extremely quiet. That's why we can put them in the uh, master cabin because uh, uh, as opposed to hydraulic stabilizing system, electric basically produce no noise. So access is very important, but also quiet and comfort. Going to the port side, you have, of course, an extremely comfortable bathroom. His and hers sink, when you come to this size, of course, is a mast. Storage uh, everywhere, cleverly designed to maximize the use of space and a uh, very comfortable shower with bench. Uh, this is a, a Cardoso stone, which is a very resistant uh, Italian stone that we use for the floors, as well as uh, the aesthetical detail in the shower, but coupled again, this is a Chile Salvagna design. So you have a very cold, gray, um, unmateric stone, immediately next to the warmest of you can think about woods, which is raw teak which is designed to be in a wet environment, as we all know, and look at the combination creates that, uh, you know, um, pairing of cold and warm, which again, creativity and design. Uh, beautiful, comfortable bench, 
and uh, of course uh, you have your toilet area there with all you need a plenty of storage for towels and accessories and bathroom accessories and um, appreciate also this of course this would have been you you see the majority actually I would say probably all the other manufacturer details like this they would be a square 90 degrees which is much easier to build as you can imagine one two and three curved panel so these are all um, how you say steam they're all steam curved pre-curved panel and then put together and so these are the details that uh, they must be appreciated in, Ach in an Achille Salvagni design this is a counter um, counter rounded uh, panel as we said uh, for give that framing and everywhere you look you have this this level of smoothness flowing look at this this is a handrail this could have been you know a piece of stainless steel bolted into the piece of wood which is what you're gonna see in everybody else's product and look at Achille Salvagni what he did to create a handrail this is an extremely solid handrail but also uh, you know a bronze plated piece of art um, another technical while well, we go through some technicals this is your access to your gray water tank look at that so you, the gray water tank they need access you is something that the crew need to clean uh, quite often and uh, sensors of gray water tank are subject to maintenance slash replacement so that's the sensor the first thing you're gonna see as soon as you open the access you have access to the sensors and then uh, by removing the bigger cap you can maintain uh, your gray water tank. And also look at the details uh, of the quality of the system. Th that, those are the distribution manifolds for the chill loop uh, air conditioning uh, water loop. And so each, everything of course is labeled, everything is perfectly insulated. So that is the chill loop air conditioning water. And this is how you access both the gray water tank and your uh, lines of uh, air conditioning chill water. We have here, of course, uh, other three cabins. This is the starboard side VIP, where you have a full-size bed. Uh, walk, very comfortable. I mean, I'm six feet, 168, 170 on a bed day pounds, and I can walk very comfortably. I can sit down and go to bed uh, without any uh, obstruction. So I move uh, uh, very freely. All that behind you is a storage, those two big cabinets right there. And you have, of course, this immense natural light. And again, details from Achille Salvagni. So that inlay with the light blue and uh, bronze fitting uh, inlay for magazine books to, to put there something which actually make you feel like you are living on the boat. This bed, as well as the other one I show you, of course, fully open and is all empty storage. Each cabin has its own head on top of the day head that we discussed before. Um, I, if you want to walk through Cardozo stone on the floor, a statuario marble on the top, that is real marble. Same kind of material combination that we saw in the master bathroom here. You have uh, a guest cabin here, and uh, this we equipped with what we call a Pullman bed. Without going into it, uh, you immediately understand you push that button, a lever comes out and uh, you pull the lever and uh, you have an extra bed coming down this entire bucket pulled down and this becomes now a three uh, three bed cabin perfect for kids or for an emergency guest of course and suite bathroom same exact as we discussed on the other cabin and uh, we now go to basically what i like to call the second master because it's a little bit unfair to call this a vip as a matter of fact, if you remember, I called the starboard side cabin as a VIP because that's, that's what, what it looks like and feels like. And this is almost a second master because look at the amount of natural light, how the space is distributed, uh, the amount of storage and suite bathroom. And uh, also last but not least, this pearl of design, which is this beautiful uh, vanity where uh, you have uh, your uh, light installed directly on the mirror and of course uh, you have your drawer for your for makeup stool and uh, the mirror works as a piece of a uh, you know uh, furnishing to make the, the of course the, the ambient look bigger but also as uh, a vanity uh, talking about mirrors i'm sure you have noticed that you didn't see any tv on board 
that's again if you think about it TVs are fairly ugly pieces of appliances so we need them we like to watch our movies but the TV itself in an environment like this wouldn't really fit hanging on the wall you will really be compromising the design so that's where the TVs are in every cabin you see mirrors and behind every mirror there is the TV that you see only when it's on so when the, the TV is off all you see is a beautiful mirror and uh, which creates uh, another element of design for the space. So if you follow me, we go now outside. Uh, fairly traditional design here. We have a C-shaped sofa. Even though it definitely looks 100% like real marble, it's fog. So it's, it's actually a more, uh, from, a, from an economical standpoint, is a, is a more noble material than marble because it's actually more expensive. The difference is that this will outlast anything. You can spill anything you want on it from lemon, orange, any citrus, any cocktail which will spill, wine, water, nothing can stain it. Unlike marble, which instead, as we all know, is basically a stone sponge, if it makes sense. Uh, under both seats, those wings open and those are a tremendous amount of storage. And of course, you can have uh, a comfortable dining for eight people outdoor uh, with this alfresco configuration under the shade of the cockpit. You have uh, here your first uh, uh, drink station where you have a drawer refrigerator, a nice maker, a sink, a nice uh, countertop to prepare your drinks. And if you close this, actually have even larger countertop to serve food uh, at the table. Here, while we are in the cockpit, Maneuvering station for dock maneuvering from the stern, so you have full visibility from here. You can control your entire stern, stern and bow from here. You have bow and stern thruster controls from here, as well as joysticks which controls the thrusters and the engines at the same time. So this is definitely a completely fully equipped docking station in the transom to make docking easier. Um, we have, uh, uh, I would say, up to this size now, we see uh, owner-operated uh, vessels, so the, the size of owner-operated vessel is growing and growing, and this is thanks to technology. So between the electronics package that we will see in the helms, as well as these maneuvering uh, aid like joysticks and docking stations in proper position, you can see that uh, more and more owners are maybe hiring help for the deck, but not necessarily a full captain, and they enjoy navigating and maneuvering their own boats, especially in the United States. This is, of course, is a garage. The door opens, uh, swings uh, to the top in this direction, and it hosts a four meter uh, tender. So we are talking about uh, 13 feet and change. The Williams 400 will fit in here. And this is a lift platform, which uh, uh, is a lift to 2,000 pound capacity and can host, of course, either another tender or uh, most likely a three-seater full uh, jet ski. So in the transom, you can have uh, uh, two toys if you want or if you don't care about jet ski of course your tender will be stored into the garage preserving the aesthetic and the line of this beautiful Azimut Yacht 25 metric and this is uh, another a further lounging area again now outdoor al fresco so you can create a lounging area here with any uh, exterior furniture design you can put a jacuzzi if you want uh, you can put another toy with a crane if you want. So this is really a white canvas that can be painted upon uh, owner request. Beautiful L-shaped bar, two stainless steel antique uh, stools, of course. Shape, the, the bar is fully equipped, of course, refrigeration, ice maker, sink and barbecue in one unit. You have your barbecue grill here with your sink and a refrigerator and ice maker side by side as well have full storage under the sink and full storage on the side. So this is really a party station. So the family enjoying the time out and a couple of family members or crew members behind the bar serving drinks and chit-chatting and, uh, you know, and uh, you have plenty of seating and comfort for, for everybody on board. Of course, uh, you can tell this awning is fully open in case uh, you want some sun, but more so I, I found myself enjoying this open Believe it or not, at night, when you have those beautiful nights with stars and the sun actually might be bothering you during the day, but when you open this at night and you have that beautiful, look how big it is. It's basically 50% of the flybridge becomes now under 
the stars and and this is spectacular i personally enjoyed it multiple times on azimuth and it was really amazing beautiful sound sun lounging area so again uh, the owner and uh, and a friend or a significant other the wife sitting here navigating and enjoying the waters here you can have plenty of friends very comfortably laying and enjoying time together or sunbathing even in this uh, uh, lounging area there is a storage in every single uh, compartment that uh, uh, and volume which is available uh, to it so all this area this is all storage all storage under the sofas and of course you have this big uh, cabinet here which provides uh, again multiple storage and a wine cooler so you are really now talking about a fully equipped uh, flybridge and we talk about a refrigerator we talk about an ice maker we talk about a, a wine cooler we talk about sunbathing we talk about a white canvas where you can do basically anything you want from placing another water toy to a jacuzzi to uh, lounge furniture and a barbecue and grill and of course last but not least you might ask yourself what is this this is an electrical awning which comes out all the way up to here and provides shade for this entire area is equipped with a wind sensor so once you take it out if the wind comes up too strong it retracts on its own so also again safety and preserving uh, the equipment on board i think we are done with the flybridge and we should probably go take a look at the bow beautiful comfortable side walking so uh, with the side doors this is particularly interesting for the u.s market where you will do you will have your market ladder going on the dock and you will be able to board the boat from both sides either sides will work now you will notice this indent in the bulwark which is has obviously a purpose it follows exactly the geometry of this window which is what allows from the inside to have a full unobstructed view imagine if this would be fiberglass going all the way to here now you will cutting off 30 percent of this window we have this incredible further lounging area and i lost count of how many we went through you have these uh, folding uh, lamps led lamps which when you pop them up for imagine again we are at night now here uh, and uh, you pop all these lamps on you have a one two three four six three per size so it becomes a very uh, nice uh, cozy lounging environment this uh, sofa is actually operated um, electrically convert the area that we saw seconds before was a beautiful three person comfortable uh, sunbathing lounge and now it became a full counter facing lounging sofa area of very comfortable proportions so this is not an emergency seat where after 15 minutes you start hurting your back you can stay here a couple of hours chit chatting with friends and uh, smoking a cigar enjoying a drink enjoying the night of course that area has also a bimini top hydraulic which comes up and this table expands and so again full comfort you want to spend good time here and look at the, the, the ergonomics, the geometry, the depth of the seating, the height of the back support is all designed to spend here a lot of time. Last but not least, because uh, to us is a very, very important uh, part of the boat, is the crew quarters and engine room. So why don't we go take a look? So crew quarter access again from the side. Remember that in a, in a condition where we discuss a boat with crew, we mentioned that through separating the galley and giving them access to the outside, then they can come down here without interfering ever with the life of the owner and his guests. So once you come down this uh, comparable ladder to be a technical actually access, you come really down to uh, a crew uh, paradise, if you wish, because uh, again, they have their full dinette with a folding table, which comes down in case of need, refrigeration and a sink, and the microwave so they really have their own space where can they, they can relax and take some time off of course their uh, audio video system is also integrated with the crew along of course uh, with the storage we mentioned this uh, two units the two Miele professional now this is where the real work is done so all the sheets towels and so on and so forth it's washer and dryer Miele professional in the technical area in addition to 
the combo unit that we saw for the lower deck. And of course, here they have, uh, uh, you know, a full-size head with a full-size shower. There is no, uh, you know, showering on top of the toilet, but there is a dedicated area with the curtain which divide the two areas. So you have a toilet sink and a full shower. So a full-size uh, head. Two cabins, so two bed in this one in case of need with their own storage. And uh, of course, a captain cabin here with, uh, uh, you know, a, we call it a, a one and a half uh, bed. It's not exactly a double, it's not a single. It's a very comfortable single or uh, it's perfect for a couple which uh, they, they obviously need to love each other <laughs> to spend uh, the night in there. Um, Engine room. This is where it all happens. The 25 meter comes with a 1650 man, 12V uh, as a standard. And uh, what I will, of course, this big protruding ins thermally insulated uh, invasive thing that you look at is the garage. So the fact that you are able to keep two toys in the transom, one of which hidden and protected from the environment, is because of this very clever design which still give full access to both engines to work and maintain and check and in the middle locate uh, this garage under the garage there you have all your air conditioning compressors separated from any living area double generator on and uh, on the 25 meter and uh, another double that is worth mentioning our fresh water pump you have a dc and an ac pump side by side so in case you lose one you have the other purpose is that you don't want to be without water, running water on, on the boat. And as far as the rest, there is a lot of many other systems. Those are the hydraulic units which move the gangway, the platform and the garage doors. Very accessible. All the solenoids are very accessible and replaceable. The, the oil tanks are those two black underneath. They can refill extremely easy. All bilge are protected, of course, by diamond plated aluminum. Uh, easy to lift and inspect and these are the electrical system component which actually uh, if you come here I would like to open and show you the level of execution and quality uh, that the electrical system we make um, as far as the standard every single wire is color coded as well as number and uh, we provide each boat with both digital and paper electrical drawing so for any troubleshooting uh, you just locate the wire for instance look this is a 21 negative and this 21 negative will be only uh, for this switch battery charger of course a very important part of the boat uh, all master volt so top of the line uh, again uh, we use only the top brands uh, for any component manufacturer uh, look at this engine room battery charger master volt engines man Top of the line for 1800 horsepower you can you can find better than this generator american usa cummins cummins on um you know all the hydraulic system is opac mare worldwide leader air conditioning is a condaria dometic dometic is the worldwide leader of marine and recreational air conditioning so probably i would like to close be confident of course uh, beauty design features volume but also everything which is behind it and all the technical side. That's probably, I actually like the idea to close in this video in the engine room in this uh, weird and awkward place, but why not? If, if you have problems here, they will reflect everywhere else on the boat, no matter how beautiful it is. If anything here doesn't work, the, world, the boat becomes useless, no matter how pretty we design it. And instead, uh, we want to guarantee you full confidence, and that's why we want to spend time down here.